with Lana Balana Design and welcome to Wax Seal of the Month for the month of October by Spellbinders. You know how much I love wax seals and I simply cannot get enough of them. So for today's month, um, here I have a little heater here that uh, this is the electric heater that I love using. If you're interested in finding more about this, I will link it up in the corner. Now for the Wax Seal Club of the month of October, what you're gonna get is these beautiful red beads. Look at these color, look at this color. Oh my goodness, I love them. And I am just going to put about four of them in there to melt. And you are going to get this beautiful Merry Christmas to you wax seal stamp. So every wax seal stamp for the wax seal of the month comes in this beautiful little box and with a beautiful dark wood handle and I just absolutely love them and of course you will get a little bag of um, wax seal beads now there's about a hundred of them in there um, and I am just going to melt as I said a little bit now let me show you what we're going to make today are some Christmas cards. Now, you usually know that I don't make smaller cards, but this time I will. These are all A2 panels or four and a quarter by five and a half. Those are the cards that I'm going to make because I decided to go on and use a glitter card stock as my uh, card panel. Now, I normally do not do that, and I normally don't see people use glitter card stock as the main uh, or a focal point of their card. I think that that could be a little bit overwhelming, and that is the reason why I wanted to go with a smaller card. So that's what these are going to be my card bases, uh, pardon, card panels. And what I am going to use are these awesome dies by Spellbinders. Now, I think these came out last year and I haven't had a chance to use them all. So they're brand new. This particular one is called... Uh, sealed twine and it's just going to cut these little um lines or it's almost looking like like twine now since it's christmas i'm going to use holly springs these are awesome dies there's a couple of them in here with some holly um little beads here of course we gotta have a holly berries i should say not beads but here we go we have plenty of them in there okay and last but not least i'm going to use these little guys they're also used for um uh it's a sealed holiday but uh, they're meant for wax seals but you don't have to of course use them for wax seals and I am just going to use a ribbon actually that's the only one that I wanted to use from this set so I got my dies here and it looks like my wax has already melted now I am going to use here this is a little silicone mat that I got from Michael's. It was just hanging there and I was like, wow, what I like that. I might as well use it since I um, love wax seals so much and this will replace the big mat that I have because uh, for little quick projects, I love to have my mats 
they're super easy and accessible, right? So that's what I like to do. So I have my silicone spatula here that I like to mix my wax. Make sure that my wax is all melted and ready to go. All right, so it is. And I am just going to pour that wax directly onto this mat. Just a little bit. You don't need to have a lot. Just like so. And I'm going to put that back on my heater. And simply stamp. And all you have to do is wait for it to cool a little bit. And your wax seal is going to be done. There it is. It came out so beautiful i love 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 this okay so let me repeat this but from a different angle so okay i'm going to demonstrate this from another angle here is the wax seal that it's already been melted and i'm just gonna zoom in so you can see a little bit better just a little bit of that wax right in there, like so. And just stamp. Okay, there we go. And there, this is how we make beautiful wax seals. Oh, that is so stunning. Now, I'm going okay and i went on and i die cut my stuff all that i needed actually for my cards and uh we are now going to just simply assemble our little cards here so the first card i am starting off with is this one with beautiful intricate die cuts i am just arranging them so they resemble a present and once i'm done done attaching them i'm going to just bend these uh, ends inwards and attach them uh, to the card with some double-sided tape next of course i'm gonna add that wax seal uh, uh, stamp and um, color it in with that beautiful metallic marker Next card is going to be a card that is similar to this one. It's going to have that, uh, so to speak, twine, paper twine, we can call it. And the same thing, I'm going to bend the access inwards, attach it with some double-sided tape, then add wax seal to the front and color it in with the same marker. Our third card is going to have holly, and I love these holly um, die. I think it's beautiful and so festive. Next, I'm going to add those super cute holly berries. And lastly, I am going to add that wax seal and color it in with, of course, the same metallic marker. Last card is going to be the one with a little piece of ephemera. That ephemera is uh, made out of acetate and it's best if you were to attach it with some double-sided tape. I added wax seal, then color it in and the card was done. I love it. I love all my cards. I think they turned out so fabulous and they're so festive. Oops, um, my little thing came undone here. But again, the glue will melt. And if you by any chance have issues with gluing your wax seals, you can always melt a little bit extra uh, wax and you and stick to it so i guess that's what i'm going to um probably do a little bit later but um this is how my cards turned out i love the glitter i love how festive they are absolutely cool 
love them uh, if you like today's video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos on spellbinders and of course wax seals because guess what that is one of my favorite things to do and create thank you spellbinders for sending me this wonderful kit to play with and Thank you for visiting me today and I will see you soon with another video. Bye-bye.